I'm Jake, and you're watching Gas Guzzler's coverage of Impa Spring Break, and this is BMW's first dedicated electric platform vehicle, the BMW iX. Let's get into it. At the front of the vehicle, you do have real air vents right here that go through to the wheel. Of course, this vehicle is extremely aerodynamic. Looking at the front right here, you do have BM, you can get BMW's laser lights, extremely bright, really great lighting system there. And you do have the very controversial BMW kidney bean grill, which has gotten huge. I actually am okay with it. You can tear me apart in the comments, let me know what you think, but I actually, I like the new look. And sure, it's more of a butterfly than kidney beans, but you know what? I'm a fan. This, of course, integrates the vehicle's radar and cameras. It is just a really interesting looking vehicle. We'll talk about that at the side. At the side of the vehicle, you have these bronze titanium accents. These are about $500. The mirrors have all the fancy schmancy stuff you would expect going on blind spot. They're power folding, of course, power adjustable, we would expect. 21 inch aero wheels. Of course, uh, wheels on an electric vehicle are very differently engineered from those on an ICE vehicle because the aerodynamics are extremely important for that extra range. This vehicle in particular gets those 21 inch wheels as part of the $2,800 sport package. The side of this vehicle has some carbon reinforced plastics in the roof which is just insane engineering going on in this vehicle i love the amount of performance they're working in let's talk quickly about suspension we'll talk about when driving but this vehicle does have air suspension and the door handles here are really strange i've never seen door handles like this they're not flush they're actually like indents in the door you put your hand in really interesting design let's move around to the rear in the rear of the bmw i want you to notice something the tail lights right here are completely fixed to this body panel so when it opens up the tail lights go up with it well now you have no tail lights if you're driving with the tailgate open no problem bmw thought of that you have lights right here that's actually us regulation i'm gonna ask bmw reps to be sure that's why these are here but i'm pretty sure that's why you do have a pretty deep little storage cubby right here that you can store your cables in and whatnot otherwise pretty good amount of trunk space back here you do have that sloping rear end which will cut in a little bit you can put down the rear seats by pulling little switches back here the seats will not fold back up though i actually am pretty impressed with the storage space back here Quick rear seat report, overall pretty good. Sitting back here, you do have two USB-C chargers and a place to like stick a tablet kind of, hold a tablet up for you. In addition, you do have heated seats back here and your own climate control, which is always nice to see. And uh, this is a super quick video, so I don't have a lot of time. I haven't even gone through this infotainment. I just want to show you, the vehicle has these little breadcrumbs. If I remember correctly, can back up following that tracing line. You can see those L those uh, lights flashing. You don't see those in real life. That's infrared. It makes sure you're looking at the road. This vehicle does have level two autonomous driving. Uh, it can actually, you can take your hands off the wheel for brief periods of time. And looking right here at the screen, you can see this is what your cameras look like. And you can go to like a panoramic view right here. You can go to an assist view. Um, and there are all sorts of different cool camera views here. I did want to see if there's, ah, here we are, the 3D view. This is the coolest feature they have. Look at this. You can zoom around as if you are a drone. The BMW has the best implementation of this system. This is a really great feature. Hopefully we'll get to do a full look through of this infotainment system in a future video. Let's talk powertrain. So there are two motors giving you 326 horsepower and they're gonna get you zero to 60 in about 4.6 seconds. Now we'll talk a bit about the battery and then we'll really test some of that performance out. This vehicle has a 105 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is the X-Drive 50. It's gonna give you around 391 miles of range max. This one right now is reading 279 miles and that's with the battery at about 80%. In terms of charging, you can expect 10 to 80% on this vehicle in about 35 minutes, which is super impressive. Now, it's time for a little acceleration clip point out a stop sign here. I do wanna mention the Regen is super aggressive on this vehicle. Let's go pull out here. I'm going pretty slow, going a few miles an hour right here, and we will floor it. Pretty good, pretty good. After getting out of the F-150 Lightning, not quite sure if it's the quickest. I mean, it's not the quickest, right? This is an SUV, but I would have liked something maybe a little more, um, especially in the top range, right? When you put the pedal in about the top half of the pedal travel here, you don't feel anything too exciting, which like, Fair enough, you know, you don't want to be pulling away from the Wendy's drive through and go through a wall, but I do feel a bit of a lack of responsiveness in the pedal until you start to get, you have to really push into it, right, to get that power out. But once you do push in, there is a solid amount of power there. 
Um, now I'm using a heads up display right now. Uh, I, I wish there was a speed kind of central on the screen because I like to look down at the screen um, the, and the speed's kind of off to the side, right? In the, in the entertainment screen. I would like to have it maybe right in the center, but instead you have your map, your GPS in the center of the display. There may be a way to change that. Going around the curves here, the vehicle feels perfectly competent. I'm not a fan of this. I think it's a hexagon. I didn't count how many sides there are. This hexagon or octagon steering wheel it doesn't flow through your hands well, right? And it just like, when you're coming through a turn and you just kind of, you know, loosen your hands and let the car straighten out, it doesn't roll through your hands well if you're picking up what I'm saying. Um, so that is one complaint I have with this vehicle. One thing that I've kind of, I've definitely come around to this vehicle, right? When I first saw it, I was like a lot of the car to me and I was like, what the heck is this BMW? I did not like how it looked. Um, it sounded just like, why why this you know i was much more impressed by the i4 at first but after driving this around it's definitely grown on me it's grown on me a lot i gotta say it's a fun little car um it's not the quickest and there you go there's that aggressive region you can definitely one pedal drive this vehicle it's not the quickest but you know i also have to reset my expectations right um you know this is a bit more luxury targeted and right here is where my camera cut out but it was an interesting car to drive it's been a long time now since i've driven it and filmed this video so can't give too much to say right now but guys thank you so much for watching our impa spring break coverage i have more videos coming i'm sorry for the inconstant uploads i've been very busy this summer of course getting ready for law school but we will have more to come thank you all so much be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in next week's video